Hey guys, and welcome back to another installment of my monthly investment portfolio updates. Today is the 24th of June, 2022, and my word, this bear market is not disappointing. So in this video, I'll go through the changes in my portfolio since April within my Vanguard account and my Bitcoin within Binance and my single stock investments within Stake. And if you've never seen any of these videos within this series, I'm creating regular update videos to help people understand the apparent confusing world of investing. Personally, I learn from seeing and then doing. So if you're either just getting started with investing or just curious or just wanna see how my investments are doing, this is the video series for you. Now, I am completely transparent with how I manage my money and my investments. I'm happy to show you my real numbers when it comes to money. I think it's rather hypocritical for some personal finance creators, and I'm not going to name any names, but they're quite often closed books when it comes to their own numbers. They're happy to talk about numbers, just not their own, but not here at the Frugal Spender channel, I'll have you know. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please take a minute to do so. And if you get any value from this video whatsoever, please consider hitting that like button. Okay, so to recap where we left off in April, my portfolio sat at £15,981.60p with my returns and my pension sitting at over 20%. My pension value was just under £7,000. My ISA was at 7,071.10p. My Bitcoin holdings were at 1,844 and I had just over £70 worth of Tesla stock. Well, well, well. It is safe to say that the stock market has taken a bit of a turn for the worse since April. A lot has happened from Luna collapsing, Bitcoin losing half of its value, and the S&P 500 seeing record drops. I think it's safe to say that the economic climate currently is looking pretty grim. So now is the time to stop your investing, sell up, and wait for things to improve. That was a joke. I mean, seriously, do you think I would encourage that? There's a fair few people that my videos reach that do say that. The comment section of my TikTok videos has been busy once again, with many people trying to encourage others to hold off investing or selling because the stock market has dropped. They'll say things like, we haven't hit the bottom yet, or a recession is looming. And whilst I do think that likely is the case, these people are claiming to know the future and have convinced themselves that they can predict the future markets. This goes against the entire ethos and concept of dollar cost averaging. And if that is a new term to you, it's essentially where you automate your investments to buy stocks every single month, regardless of what's happening or the price. This, I believe, is the best way to remove emotion as much as possible from the equation. And not only that, the studies support the fact that in the long term, you will likely outperform those who are trying to time the market. I mean, just take a look at the fear and greed index to see how emotion is currently driving the stock market. To quote Warren Buffett, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. In other words, buy the dip when you're in it. And it's safe to say, we're in a dip. Yes, the dip might get deeper, but that doesn't mean you don't buy now. Please do remember though, in this video, nothing is financial or investment advice. These are my opinions, and this is how I invest based on everything I've learned and things I've put into practice myself, which I believe to be the most effective way to go about investing. Do not blindly follow me and do your own research for yourself. Well, you're currently doing that because you're watching this video. Okay, so let's start the portfolio update with Vanguard as usual. Current value of my investments here are £13,742.08. P. And this is broken down into 6,605.30 in my SIP and 7,136.78 in my stocks and shares ISA. Okay, so I am on vanguardinvestor.co.uk. I've got a lot of people asking questions about how I've got this app. It's not the app. This is literally just me on the website on my mobile phone. And so straight away, you can see the depressing minus 10.10% in my ISA. And then if we look at the pension, you can see it's up 10%. So um, I mean, the reason I'm up on my pension there, it's just I timed it well when I first transferred my old pensions from previous providers to Vanguard. I just happened to buy it when it was low. I think I put in about £4,000. So I'm just riding off the back of that with those returns. There's nothing that I've done strategically there. That was just the luck of the draw. Take a quick dive into the pension section. You can see a total gain of £477.05p with the company contributions from my limited company, which is £200 so far this tax year. There's nothing new here at all. I'm still investing in the Life Strategy 100. I'm not going to go any deeper into this. Check out my older videos if you want to see what the Life Strategy 100 is all about, but I'm not going to repeat myself. Right, let's go back and take a look at the ISA and see 
why on earth I'm losing so much money. Two funds here, Life Strategy 100, which is the bulk of the money, and that's for retirement and future money. And then the S&P 500, which I'm using for a potential investment with a house or property in the future, or to upgrade the house that we're currently in in the future. We haven't decided yet, but we've stashed this money. We've allocated it for property. Both down pretty significantly there. It's to be expected, the US markets are taking a huge hit and within the Life Strategy 100, it's quite heavily weighted, about 40-ish percent, I believe, to the US stock market. So, I mean, look, it's happening everywhere. Every market's down currently, but I think the US market in particular is taking a bit of a beating. So, and as you can see with the S&P 500, yeah, it's uh, it's not looking great, but hey, this is the roller coaster of investing. And that's it. There's not much more for me to go through with Vanguard. So let's move on. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at my crypto allocation, which is solely Bitcoin. The current value here sitting at £1,349.89p, which is down just over £500 from April. In fact, it's actually even worse than that because I've bought about £500 worth of Bitcoin since my last update in April. So technically, it's around about £1,000 down. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie, it sucks logging into my account and seeing that but I am trying my best to continue practicing what I preach and I'm just gonna continue buying no matter what. I've accepted that Bitcoin is a volatile asset, but I think over time it's going to be a worthy investment. Okay, finally, let's take a look at my single stock portfolio with stake. So my investments here with stake have changed a little bit. I've purchased two new stocks and that's Nvidia and Meta, both tech stocks. And not only do I use them, I think they're gonna both be profitable in the future. Tesla remains in the portfolio here and I can't see that changing. And as you can see, the total value here is $141.21, which is as of today's money in pounds is £114.81p. And if you've never used stake before, I would definitely recommend taking a look at them, especially if you're looking to invest in US stocks because they don't charge fees every time you buy and sell stocks with them. If you wanted to get started with them and earn yourself a free share with either GoPro, Nike or Dropbox to get yourself going, use the link in the description box below and make your first deposit within 24 hours for both you and I to get a free stock. Okay, to summarize then, the total portfolio value as of June 2022 is £14,929.61p with losses with Vanguard of 10% and above, and Bitcoin taking an absolute beating, this is understandable, and a total portfolio decrease of £1,051.99p. And there you have it. I think there is one lesson here that you should take away from my current situation anyway, is to practice remaining calm when things feel like they're going wrong. Trust what you've learned and dollar cost average. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the market at the moment and anything you're currently doing in the comments section below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button too if you get any value from my videos. See you next time.